Hello and welcome to Korean Music Fest. I'm your host, Colleen Park. Music changes and evolves ceaselessly as it expresses the life and the ideals of people living in a given period in history. In our show, Korean Music Fest, we bring you the origins of Korean culture and their way of thinking. The piece we've just listened to was court music, Sujecheon. The place where I'm standing now is Gyeonggi Palace, which was built in the 17th century. This building is Sungjeonjeon, where the kings administered their state affairs. In a time of national celebration, stately music was played before the assembly of government officials. The Confucian scholars of Korea believe that music had the power to purify people's hearts and bring them closer to nature. Sujecheon is a piece highly praised for its leisurely yet dynamic melody. The next piece we'll hear is Gayagum Pyeongchang, Namdo Minyo, Setaryong, and Daegum Sanjo. Setaryong is a song that likens a variety of birds to the lives of people. The instrumental accompaniment of Gayagum heightens the song's artistic effects. Daegum Sanjo is a piece that expresses people's emotions of joy, anger, sorrow, and pleasure with various rhythms. Oh, oh, oh. 
There are many myths, legends, and old stories in the world. Before letters were invented, people learned their history and the way to live like human beings through such stories. Pansori is a unique Korean traditional music style where a singer tells a story through his song. In 2003, Pansori was made an intangible cultural heritage by UNESCO. Today, we'll hear a Pansori piece called Saranga from Chunyangga, based on the tale of Chunyang, a story of love that overcomes the boundaries of social classes. It's a story of love between Yi Mong-yong, a son of an aristocrat, and Song Chunyang, a courtesan's daughter. Pansori is usually sung in solo performance style, but today, two singers will play the different roles in this song. After that, we'll hear a medley of Korea's national folk song, Arida. Today, Chunyangga Dorenimi, Angkunuo Dingul Mianso, Saranga Rojigi Nandi, Sarang Tungul, tungul, 
정을 다르르 부어 신원 발라 버리고 붉은 정목 푹다 방간 진수로 먹으려느냐 아니 그것도 다는 실소 그러면 무엇을 먹으려느냐 앵돌돌 주랴 호돌돌 주랴 귤병 사탕에와 탕을 주랴 아니 그것도 다는 실소 그러면 무엇을 먹으려느냐 당둥지 지루지거니 왜까지 난 잠해 먹으려느냐 시금 덜덜 해살구 작은 이 노령 서는 데 먹으려느냐 아니 그것도 나는 실소 저리가 너라 뒤티를 보자 이리 혼너라 앞티를 보자 아장아장 들어라 걷는 애들 보자 빵도 서가라 힐수를 보자 밤에 사랑아 예 준양아 나도 너를 업었으니 너도 날좀 업어다오 도련님은 나를 가벼워서 업었지만 나는 도련님이 무거워서 어찌 없는단 말씀이오 그러기에 내가 널 자리에 무겁게 업어달라더냐 네 양팔만 네 어깨 위에 얹고 징검 징검 걸어다니면 후속에 좋은 수가 있느니라 자 어디 한번 업어 봐라 둥둥둥 대낭군 오호 둥둥 대낭군 둥둥둥 오호 둥둥 대낭군 도련기 물었고 보니 졸 호자가 졸로 나 부근 자금오란화 탐화봉접이 좋으시고 소상 동정 질뱅기 일세구가 더 좋을 허루구나 둥둥둥둥 오호 둥둥 내 낭군 사랑 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 내 사랑이야 사랑이로구나 내 사랑이야 이내 사랑이로다 설마 둥둥내 사랑이야 
legend, a young warrior of Shilla Kingdom disguised himself as a dancer and performed a sword dance before the king of Baekje, an enemy kingdom. It is said that the young warrior slew Baekje's king during the dance. He was immediately cut down. In commemoration of his heroic act, people of Shilla donned masks and performed the young warrior sword dance. This is the origin of Gomgimu from the Joseon dynasty era. 
To our ancestors, sword was the symbol of honor and loyalty. It'll be nice to ruminate on how our ancestors kept themselves disciplined while watching this dynamic dance. With Komgi Mu, I bid you goodbye and thank you very much for joining us. Hon, hon.